What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's go ahead and jump right on in and start talking about the grease points that are going to be on your John Deere 6R tractors. Now, before we get started and pointing out where all of these grease points are, let's talk about the fact that these 6R tractors are gonna be obviously in that six family, meaning that this is jumping up into the full-on agricultural tractors. So these are gonna be bigger, a lot more components, a lot more moving pieces. So you are going to have a lot more maintenance points and a lot more grease points on this machine than you would on your one through five series tractors, just because they are a lot larger and have those more moving pieces. So where we're gonna start at is going to be here at the front, your main points that you're going to be looking for are gonna be all along your front axle. Now, within this series of tractors, you're gonna have models that range from 110 horsepower all the way up to 250 horsepower. So as you can imagine, you are going to see different types of front axles on these machines. But if you'll just keep in mind that whenever we're looking for grease points, what we're looking for are any type of U-joints. So a lot of times those are going to be out on the outside of your axle right there at your wheel. So we wanna be checking those U-joints. For instance, here on this machine, we've got it rotated just right here where you can see the grease zerk on the U-joint that is going to meet from that front axle out to that wheel hub housing right there. So we wanna be making sure and checking those. We also wanna make sure that if our machine has front axle suspension, most of the time those suspension points are going to be on cylinders. Cylinders are going to have a pin in the end on the bottom and the top. So we wanna make sure that we are looking for any grease points on those cylinders. So for instance, on this machine here, we're gonna have a cylinder over here on the right hand side and a grease point right there and then a cylinder also over here on the left hand side with a grease point right here and then we need to keep in mind that on this one we also are going to want to go to the other side over on the left hand side and grease that u joint that's going out to that wheel as well now to go along with this you could have different setups here in the front you could have different types of suspension systems that may throw in a couple more cylinders all of those that we see we need to make sure and be looking Looking for grease points here's going to be an example of a different setup that you may see with a couple extra cylinders on it and then you could also have on these 6r machines a front hitch and if you have a front hitch and a front three point then you are going to add some extra grease points there as well with that front hitch you may have a setup that looks like this whereas we need to be hitting these grease points and then if you have a front PTO shaft. There is going to be a grease point right back behind your fan underneath the hood right in this area that is going to lead out to that PTO shaft so we need to make sure and be hitting that as well. Now once you're done with the front of the tractor the next is going to be the not so fun part. This is going to be up underneath the tractor. You are going to have two drive lines that you're looking for. One is going to be your MFWD drive line that drives your front axle so it is going to look like this it's going to be the longer one here and it is going to have two u joints on it one on each end just kind of keep in mind anytime that we have a drive line we're going to have those u joints same thing there in the front axle that's a drive line that's going out to both of those front wheels so we have u joints so here underneath the machine we have that drive line that's going to that front axle so we have u joints so we need to be making sure and greasing those then we're also going to have a drive line that's a little bit further up a little bit harder to get to this is going to be our drive line that goes from engine to transmission it's also going to have a u-joint on both ends so we need to make sure and be taking care of those as well now the last area and probably the most interesting is going to be the rear of your machine so back here of course we are going to have our three-point hitch we're going to have our rear axles we may have some rear cab suspension and all of these places are going to have grease zergs on them this is going to be a highly used area so as you can imagine a lot of grease is going to be required back here which also means a lot of grease fitting so some of the places that we definitely need to be looking and for instance on this machine here which is a 6r145 this has kind of a basic setup here at the rear but what you're going to have is seven grease points on one side and seven grease points on another and totaling up to be 14 grease points just at the rear of this machine so to point those out 
First, where we wanna look is on our three-point linkages here. So the arms that are connecting from the top down to our actual three-point arm, we're going to have two grease points just on this linkage, one here at the bottom and one here at the top. Now, you can imagine that whatever we see over here on the left-hand side, we're also going to have on the right-hand side. So just keep that in mind. Now, the cylinders that run that three-point that raise it up and down, these are going to be our lift cylinders and they are going to have a grease point one right here and one down here. We need to be making sure and checking those out. Once we get done with that and we move back towards the machine, you are going to have two grease points on your actual rock shaft. That is going to be the shaft where these big heavy arms are going to turn from. So you are going to have to reach back here in between the cylinder and your valve block here, right in the back, we'll see one over here. And then you're also gonna have a matching one over on the right hand side, back behind this electrical plug plate right here. With this machine, you are also going to have cab suspension. So with that cab suspension comes another cylinder. So with cylinders, like we talked about before, there's gonna be a grease zerk right down here. And then with this machine on the rear axles, you're gonna have grease points for those rear axle shafts. So we're going to have one right here and one over on the right hand side as well. Now, 14 on this model specifically, but you could have additional grease zerks depending on how this tractor is outfitted. So for instance, if we had a certain trailer hitch package set up on this tractor, you may have another set of grease points that look something like this. Also, if we have a different style hitch, if we have a pickup hitch on this machine, rather than the three point hitch that looks like this, we may have some additional grease points like this. Depending on how this machine is set up, you could have anywhere from 14 to 16 to 18. You could have multiple, multiple grease points back here. We just need to be making sure that like we talked about in the beginning, anywhere that has a pin that is going in, anywhere that anything is turning, anywhere that anything is moving and has a lot of high wear, we need to be making sure and checking those places for those grease points to make sure that we're taking care of those. Now, a lot of times we get asked, what type of grease should I be using? In all honesty, as long long as we're using some sort of heavy duty machine grease, you should be in good shape. Now, what is gonna be suggested is that you use the John Deere SD Polyurea or the John Deere HD Lithium Complex grease. That is gonna be suggested from the operator manual, but once again, that is up to you. If you'd like to learn more about those greases and the grease gun offerings that we have, make sure to check down in the description section below as I'll have a couple of videos linked down there so you can check those out. But overall, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask that you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or videos over just John Deere equipment in general, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.